Sí, sí, tengo flu. Oh, Allá. Yeah. Tengo flu. flu. <laughs> Ahí viene la teacher, pregúntale. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let me Wait, I'm here. So, hi class, how are you today? Not bad. I'm sick. I'm sick. Good? Cold. You're, sick. You're sick, really? I'm what, sick. What's going on? I have flu. What's I'm sick the matter? Ah. I have fever. I have fever. Fever. Oh. So, what are the recommendations? What can we recommend these people who is... Aspirin, aspirin. Chaparro. Uh, Chaparro. Very water. <laughs> Remember, we already practice. Uh, I guess I what is section number two to give recommendations. I bring, yes, I bring you can. And I bring a chapavit. Chapavit. Chapavit quinto. I can take. Okay, now I you can know. Take. So I guess everybody is sick today because you know today in the morning I have a, a very severe pain in my head, like migraine. So you know, I was feeling very yeah. bad today in the morning. I am migraine, I am, I am yeah. migraine too. Really? I am migraine too. But I'm feeling better now, okay? So, Cesar, the same, okay. So let me ask you to turn on your cameras, please. I'm still missing Tyra, Roxana, Rebecca, please, Wilson. There we go. Very good. <clears throat> Algún micrófono está haciendo feedback. No, I guess it was a, a cell phone, right? Yeah, yes, cell phone. What Pero casi quedó Maybe sorda. a message, really, a message or a, a call. Who was? Oh. Let me see. Yeah, Roxana and Rebecca, please. Mm. Yes. Teacher, how was your day? My day, as I was telling you, uh, today in the morning when I woke up, I was feeling dizzy. Do you know what is the meaning of dizzy? I was feeling dizzy that everything was moving around me, you know? So yes, uh, I knew it because my head, it started like hurting very bad. Headache. I had a big, it. big headache, a horrible headache. Tell me. Excuse me. Yes. Dice Neftali que como está enfermo, que ahora le duele mucho la cabeza para poder pensar en, en responder alguna pregunta que le haga. No, you know, <laughs> English is good. No, If you're feeling no sick today. Question. No, no question. No, on the other hand, the opposite, right? If I make you questions, no question, you're going to feel no better question. today. No question, no homework. No question for you. <laughs> no, of course not. Of course, we are going to Only ask for now. Only for today, right? <laughs> so you see, here we go. If you see, this is the last week that we're going to um, be working with this section, section number four. This is the last one from this course. So mm -hmm. let me ask you, Have you had time to go and check the content from section number four? Han tenido tiempo de ir a la platform, chequear section number four. The top. I have finished um, section four and section five. Wow. Congratulations. Oh Very Congratulations, good. lady. So, yes. section four is over. No <clears throat> questions about section four. So no, completo, no. section four being so yes, I am clear. So in this case, yeah, we can easily go and move to the next section. Let me show you what we have for today. Remember Ooh. that in this case, Lely, Lely es de la primera sección, terminó la <laughs> no, you know, but that's okay. Saben que lo que se los explico tal vez en español, lo que buscamos en este mm -hmm. caso con ese tipo de cursos es que ustedes tengan la libertad, ¿okay? que sean independientes en su aprendizaje. 
si yo eh, siento que soy capaz de ir, revisar el contenido y lo puedo resolver, let's do it. No hay problema, ¿ok? Para eso tienen ustedes la libertad y la independencia de ingresar a cualquier hora del día y que está habilitado su curso durante todas las semanas mm. que nosotros lo tenemos habilitado, ¿verdad? Y las sesiones, las sesiones son para aclarar, para practicar también, si no ha quedado claro algún contenido, venimos a o la O para sesión, reforzar. O para reforzar, exactly. Or to give some extra information, right? Tener otro tipo de extra. ejercicio. Uh -huh. Pero siempre nos apoyamos mucho en la plataforma porque eh, el contenido que tienen ahí, pues claro, es muy... Um, acertado y es basado en el manual que ustedes tienen. ¿Ok? Todo el contenido sí, de la sí. platform es el que tenemos también en el manual. Tell me. Eh, una pregunta sobre la plataforma. Cuando sí. termine un ejemplo, cuando termine esta, eh, este, este módulo, digamos, sí. cuando termine este módulo, podemos seguir después viendo la plataforma o ya no Exacto. tenemos acceso. No, you still have access to the courses that you already finished. Okay. Los que ya terminaron quedan ahí porque es su progreso, el progreso que ustedes van teniendo. Because the idea is for you to finish, you know, all the different levels from basic and then you can move on to intermediate level and then you can conclude with the advanced, you know? So this is what we are expecting you to do. So you can practice. Because imagine, If you forget about a topic, you can go back to the previous courses and you can check the information and you can <coughs> also check the exercises uh, or retake the, the, the exercises as well. So this is idea. Por eso es bueno que tengamos una plataforma y que sea interactiva. So don't worry. If you haven't had the time to go and check the platform, let's find out. What do we have? Section number five. Remember that from this section, we have up to Thursday. So you can have all the exercises from section five and also the final exam done. We have section number five activities and the final exam. So I guess on Wednesday, we are going to take some time to review about the exercises from the final exam. If you see in this section, we continue talking about the simple past. Last class, we were practicing making sentences with the past of verb to be. Do you remember what is the past of verb to be? Was, was as well. Was, was and were. Was and were. 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 What is the negative form of this verb? Didn't. Wasn't. Weren't. Wasn't. And I told you. Weren't. I told you that we were going to practice the pronunciation. Weren't. So this is the first activity that we are going to do right now. Let me go to my book so I can play the audio, and you can practice the pronunciation of was, were, wasn't, and weren't. So, so you can identify the correct pronunciation. Let me go to my book. There we go. So you see, this is like an extra exercise that we can have during the class. Give me a second. Here we go. Here we go. What and where? Okay, I'm ready. Take a look at my picture, at my book, so we can practice. This is the same book that you have, but this is like a... Um, new version. El mismo libro que ustedes tienen. It's the same information, right? So don't worry. Si lo ven diferente, es una versión más actualizada, but it's the same context. So, as you see, 
we are going to practice negative contractions. Negative contractions. The ones that are pronounced in one syllable and the ones that are pronounced in two syllables. So let's listen and then we are going to practice. Here we go. Page 102. Exercise four, okay. pronunciation. Negative contractions, part A. Listen and practice. One syllable. One syllable. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Let's listen again so we can listen, practice. listen, and practice. One syllable. One. Aren't. Aren't. One more time. Can you try? Aren't. 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 No me lo hagan en dos sílabas. Aren't. No, that is two sílabas. Aren't. 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 Don't. Aren't. Don't. 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 Can't. 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 Didn't. 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 Okay. So if you see, I have four different sentences. So we can mm. practice reading and pronouncing correctly. So let me ask Nelson, can you help mm -hmm. me out reading the first example? This one, with they. They didn't like. Because it wasn't funny. Can you read funny. it again, please? Read it again. They didn't like the comedy because it wasn't funny. Okay, so I heard this in two syllables. Great. It wasn't. That's it. Wasn't. And didn't. Great job. Two syllables as well. They didn't uh, like the comedy because it wasn't funny. Very good pronunciation. So before we continue, let's listen. Let's listen, right? Oh, Cesar wants to participate. Page 102. Uh, let's listen first. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen and practice. Here we go. They didn't like the comedy because it wasn't funny. Great. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. This isn't my book. I can't read French. Right. They weren't in class yesterday, and they aren't in class today. So, here we go. I'm going to number the sentences from one to four. So, I'm going to ask you to read. This is number one. This is number two. Then we have number three. And as a final sentence, we have sentence number four. So, Cesar, go ahead and read number one, please. Number one? Yeah. They didn't like the comedy because it wasn't funny. Great. Aleli, go ahead. Number two. I don't like coffee and and she is and she doesn't like tea. Like tea. 
like tea. Very good job. Very good job. Let's continue with Kimberly. Number three, please. Okay. Um, this is is not my book. I can't read French. Great pronunciation. It is. Elena, number four. They weren't in class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Okay, can you repeat that again, please? Remember that weren't and aren't. They, they weren't are one in syllable. class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Okay, great job. Una sílaba. So let's see. Creo que la que más cuesta es la cuatro. So let's practice number four. Walter, number four, please. Okay, why me? I wonder. Number four. Yeah. Please. They weren't in class yesterday and they aren't in this in class today. Great, great job, Josue. So you can feel better, Josue. Number four. Number four. Yeah, <clears throat> they weren't they weren't they they weren't yeah. in class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Okay, great pronunciation. <laughs> Just one <Okay>. syllable. <laughs> Maria Lucila, please. Number four. They weren't in class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Okay, Gladys, number three, please. You it isn't my boot. I can't read French. I can't read can't. French. One more time, please. Yes. Can you repeat that, please? Gladys, number three. Is the read read. It isn't my boot. I can't really train. I can't. Re Do you remember? You know, we had a video in which we were being explained that can't. Okay, wait. Give me a second. We are going to make a longer pronunciation with can't. Recuerdan esta explicación. Uno de los videos está like. Can't. Siempre es una sílaba, pero lo hacemos más largo para poder distinguir between can and can't. Right? Can is going to be a short pronunciation while the negative form is going to be longer. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Okay? Porque yo lo escuchaba en afirmativo. I can read French. So no, this is not affirmative. This is a negative one. So Saira, number four, please. They were in class yesterday and they are in class today. Aren't. Aren't in class today. Aren't. Aren't in class today. Aren't. It's just one syllable. Orange. Orange. No. Again, orange. 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 No. It's just one. Orange. 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 Orange in class today. Okay, Tonya, number four, please. They weren't in class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Great. Rosemary, number four. Um, they weren't in class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Okay, weren't, aren't. Marina, number two. They weren't in class yester yesterday and they aren't in class today. Ah, okay, so that was number four, don't worry. Arturo, number four. Fernando Arturo. Okay. They 
weren't in class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Remember, aren't. It's just one syllable. Aren't. Aren't. Weren't. So, aren't and weren't. Yes. So, I need you to have this information in your notebooks or to memorize this information. What are the ones who are pronounced in one syllable and what are the other ones who are pronounced in two syllables? Please have this information because it's very useful. So you can imitate the American accent, you know? So we can imitate the way that people from United States, they speak. So one syllable and two syllables. Let me know once you're done copying this information, please. Or if not, you can go and check your book, but I'm not sure about the page. No estoy segura de la página en su libro, but you, you also have this information, right? But in my book is page 102. I don't know if you have the same information in 102, page 102. So that's what I'm asking you to copy this. So let's go back to the platform. What do we have for today? Look. If you see, we can also make questions with the past of verb to be. Last class, last video, we were practicing about affirmative and negative sentences with the verb to be, with the past of verb to be. But in this case, we can also make interrogative sentences using was or were. So take a look at the example. So we are going to practice making sentences interrogative sentences in this class. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of be. Were you born in the US? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Okay, do you remember what was the question that we were practicing last week to find out about the place or country where you were born? What was the question? Mm -hmm. What question? Yes. Yes, Kimberly. We were using a question last week in order to find out about the place in which you were born. Yo les preguntaba, ustedes preguntaban, ¿dónde nacieron? How do we make that question in English? I was born in El Salvador. This is the one. Where were you where, born? Where, where were, were you born? Where were you born? Uh, okay. Do you remember that we were also practicing how do we pronounce the WH word? Word and the pass of verb to be. Word. ¿Se acuerdan? Yes. Ah, you don't remember. Yes. I do. So, where were you born? So, we already know how to express this information. So, what are we missing? We need to practice how to read or how to express years in English. So in this box of information, 
I have two examples of years. How do we read numbers? And in this case, how do we read years? This is what we are going to do right now. So let's finish with this video. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Mm -hmm. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement. or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark. Born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so we are going to practice both. How do we make questions with WH words and how do we pronounce in this case, years. So let me show you what we're going to do right now. I have a presentation so we can practice pronouncing correctly years. So let me show you this one. But before we continue with this activity, I need to check the attendance list. So I cannot forget about that. Just give me a second. Here we go. What day is it today, class? Who can tell me the date? Today is? It's Monday. Monday what? May 23. 23, are you sure? Do we say 23? 23rd. 23rd, don't forget that we're going 23rd. to use ordinal numbers. Yes, 23rd. 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 Monday, 23rd, May. Monday, May 23rd, 2022 or 2022. Aleli Concepcion. Present. Anna, Stephanie. Present. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present. Fernando Arturo. Present. Gerson Vladimir. Present. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Ok. Jessica Marielo. Present, teacher. Josué Neftalí. I'm here. Kimberly Janet. Present. María Lucila. I'm here. Marina del Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. Present. Nuria Karina. 
Present teacher. Pablo Reyes. Present. Rebeca Eunice. Present. Roxana Beatriz. Present. Rosemary Beatriz. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Present. Jessica Marilu. Present teacher. And Zaira Jamile. Present. Wow. I have my 25 students in this class. Excellent. Very good job. So, as I mentioned before, we are going to practice on how to read or how to express years information in English. So, take a look at this one. This is the information that I got for you today. If you see, I have this information. The year in English. So normally, years are pronounced or are divided into two parts. This is the easiest way. We are going to divide or we are going to pronounce years into parts. For example, we have this year. So what do we do? We are going to separate the year in two sections. So we can pronounce 19, and then we are going to pronounce the two missing numbers, 84, 1984. So take a look at these examples. How do we read this year? I don't think that we are going to use this one, but this is just for you to know. 10, 66, 16, 52, 19, 41, and 2017. So do you see? We are separating years or dividing years into two parts. Great. Let's continue with the information. When a year ends in a number between 01 and 09, then that last part is pronounced as the name of the letter O, so the number. Do you remember when we were practicing telling cell phone numbers? We didn't pronounce the number zero as zero. We changed that zero for this letter, for letter O. So it's the same for years. So when are you going to pronounce letter O? ¿Cuándo vamos a reemplazar entonces la letra e? I'm sorry, número cero por la letra O? When are we going to use this information? ¿Cuándo, clase? Cuando vamos a dar número de teléfono. Ok. ¿Qué más? Bueno, empezamos a contar de cero. Pero ahí decimos O o decimos zero. O. Oh. O. Oh, oh, oh. O. Oh. O. Porque, sí, porque primero se empieza con O y luego en el cero, uno, eh, cero, one, two, three, según el módulo pasado. Decimos O al, al inicio y luego zero, one, two, three. Is that what you're telling me? Cuando en la segunda parte del año el número es del 1 al 9. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You scared me. Me están asustando. Déjenme entender eso. ¿Qué les explicaron de los números? Eh, cardinal numbers. Cardinal numbers. En ese caso decimos zero. O decimos O. Oh. Zero. No, zero because zero. That, that is the number. Ahí sí vamos con el number. Only when we're yeah. talking about telephone number, year, uh, places, for example, puede ser buildings, classrooms, lugares que llevan número para identificar los lugares, buildings, and so on. 
Entonces Exacto. ocuparíamos zero. Acá es no. Aquí estamos hablando de oh. De la, oh. Oh, ok. Oh. Voy a poner esto para que quede en la grabación. Zero, no. Ok. Reemplacemos el zero with oh. Miren, no zero. No, okay. ahí está. Telephone number, cheer, places, building. What do you think about street numbers? ¿Qué piensan? ¿Qué utilizamos ahí? Street numbers. Zero or O? The same. Sí, o. Numbers. o. Exacto. O. Reemplazamos el cero por una O. So, esos son ejemplos. So, this is the same. Whenever we have years that end in a number from 0, 01 to 0, 09, we are going to replace. Zero by the letter O. So look at this example. Seventeen O nine nineteen O one. ¿Por qué? Porque terminan con cero nueve. Si van desde cero uno up to O nine, we are going to pronounce O. Great. Now look at this information. When a year ends in zero, zero, then the year is said as the digits before zero, zero, and then hundred. So, thirteen hundred, eighteen hundred. Okay. Si el año termina en cero, cero, Ese cero cero se convierte en hundred. Okay. That is the easiest way to explain this. Hundred. Thirteen hundred. How about with this information? After the year 2010, what do we do? For the first year after 2010, you may hear two different versions. You can pronounce two 2012, or you can also say 2012. They are both used and correct. Now, we continue to say the year divided into two parts as before. Yes, Aleli. Teacher, eh, sería también correcto, o sea, siento que es más lógico de decir 1,000 Three hundred. O, o es que es decir thirteen hundred como que no le cacho mucho. En el año one thousand three hundred, you know, we can express this number, but remember that we are practicing on how American people express years. Si estamos leyendo el número como uh -huh. número. Como cantidad está bien, pero en este caso estamos practicando años. Entonces, eh, no es que no sea correcto, claro que es correcta la lectura, pero uh -huh. eh, necesitamos imitar o lo que okay. se usa en sí para decir años. So, in this case, it's 1300. Y así lo va a escuchar, ¿ok? Es lo más común, 1300, 1800. And even... Oh. También okay. utilizamos eso cuando hablamos de dinero. Ok, $1,300. dólares. Oh, $1,300. Okay. No solo para uh -huh. años de tu país. $1,300. Oh, $1,800. dólares. $1,800. dólares. Así se expresa. So it's very ok, common. entonces cuando estamos hablando de años, se podría decir $1,300. Yes. Ok, y ya para contar dinero o para número de, de una calle, ya sí podemos ocupar el otro tipo de pronunciación. Sí, yeah, that's ok. O you can also okay. use 1300. Yes, Walter. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, talking about the years after 2000. Mm -hmm. Can I use, for example, yeah. 2005. Ok. Can I use 2005? That's ok. 2005. As you 2005, can see, we have 2008. Mm -hmm. okay, here we thank have, you. look, 
two differences. You can express both ideas. 2005 or 2005. 2005 or 2005, that's okay. Questions okay, about these rules? Or do we go to practice? Questions about these rules? If no, let's go to the practice. Let me show you my board. I'm going to type a year in your class are going to pronounce it correctly. Here we go. Let's start with an easy one. How do we pronounce this one? 1999. Okay, but everybody please, 1999. 1999. Or? Oh, 2022. 2022. 2022. Ah, very good. Acuérdense. 2022. Después del 2010, podemos decir dos formas. Okay. So, 2022 or 2022. 2010 very good. or 2020. How about this one? How about this one? 1985. Oh, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 1800. Acuérdense solo de eso. ¿Cómo escribo 100 con dos o tres ceros? Mm. Ah, con dos. So, 1800. 1000 yes. now. Let's continue. 100. 100. ¿Qué tengo en la mente ese 1000? This one. Tengo en la mente ese 1000. 1990. Oh, okay. 1990. 1990. Twenty-five. 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 Fighting 15. is like fighting. Is it pelear? 20 pelea? No. 25. <laughs> claro. 15. 15. So 2015. 15. 15. 15. 15. So what if 15. I ask you? When were you born? When, when were you born? You born? When were you born? I know, teacher. I was born. I was born in. I was born in 1984. Ah, nice. Very, very, very good. Don't worry. If you don't want to give me the correct information, that's okay. At least practice. I was expressing. born. So the I teacher was... was born in 1990. How about you? When were you born? I was born in, and then we express the year correctly, please. I was born in 
Mary so, was born in 1929. Very good. Okay, 1929. 29. 1929. I was born in. Okay. Perdón. 79. Mm. Qué número más raro. 1999. I was 1949. Wow. How old are you? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes César? Oh, my God. No, oh, my God. <risa> mi abuelo, mi bisabuelo. Yeah, right. hey, yo. abuelo, ya. Yeah. Yeah. No. Ok. So, well, César. Listen, Listen to Walter. Walter. 79. 79. Very good. Great pronunciation. Let me listen to the rest of the class. Where, when were you born? When, when. And Gerson. Let's ask Gerson. When were you born, Harrison? I was born 2002. Listen, he was born in 2002. Wow. He's still young, very young, right? Very good. Marina, when were you born? Is Marina is still there? Yes. When, when were you born? Okay, yes, yeah, she's having problem. Don't worry. Pablo, when were you born? I I was born in seventy seven six. Can you repeat that, please? In? 1776. 70? Or 17? 17. Ah, you see the difference. 17, 76, or 76. Salvo <laughs> inmortal. Okay, 1700, are you sure? Sí, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ah, you see. Ah, pay Son inmortales pay. tenemos ahora en clase. Oh, ok. Yo presto atención a lo que me dicen. 1776. Ok, dije yo. 19. Class common. No me dan información falsa. Tampoco exageremos. 17. No, come on. 1976. So, what is the question? When were you born? Let's have. Two or three minutes, so you can ask your classmates the same question. When were you born? I'm going to be listening to your pronunciation, okay? Practice expressing numbers in English. Okay. Here we go. When were you born? Wait. Okay, let's go in working groups. <laughs> Two or three minutes, so you can listen to your classmates. Correct your classmate if necessary, okay? Here we go. Okay, Walter is in the same room, yes. Very good. Okay, I'm just missing. Me, Gladys, Elvis, Jessica, Rebecca, Marina as well. There we go. Five minutes to practice, okay? I was born in 2002. Kimberly, where were you born? I was born in 1998. Okay, Kimberly, ask one of your classmates. 
Really? Ask the question to one of your classmates, please. Okay. And, um, where? When? Como era la pregunta? Mm -hmm. You have the question. <laughs> Is it where or when? Because there is a difference. Which where? one are we using? Are you sure it's where or when? Pablo, what is the question? Es, eh, es cuando, es when. Ajá, cuando, when. Porque si decimos where, estamos pidiendo lugar. So, we are not yes. asking that information. We are asking about the year. So, Kimberly. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. When yes. were, ¿verdad? Exactly. When and where. Where is el pasado del verbo to be? No confundamos. Uh, okay. so go, please. Kimberly. When were born? When were you born? You were. Mm -hmm. Where you were? Okay. Pablo. Um, I was born in 1976. Very good. Okay. So one extra minute so you can continue practicing, please. Or all the teachers here. Okay. We follow talking tomorrow, okay? Did you finish? Uh, what, what, what are you <laughs> talking about, Walter? <laughs> We're telling yokes. Uh, no, you're supposed to be practicing pronunciation, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Like okay <laughs> so, Nuria and Karim, what is the question that we're practicing? What is the question? When? When? Ah. Once again, please. When? Where? Are as you're born. Is that correct, Walter? When, where has I, <laughs> are you born? Okay, Walter, can you help Karina, please? What is the question? Okay. When, were you born? Very good. When, were, when you born. were you born? So, Karina, when were you born? I was born. I was born in 1986. 86, very good. Wilson, when were you born? Yes, Wilson. When oh. were you born? I was born in June 21st, 1998. Excellent. You're giving me the extra information. That's that's right. Very good job. So class, questions about this topic. And mostly in making the question, right? Because that is the hard part to remember that structure. Questions, Walter, Karina, Wilson? Yes, no? No, I have not. Okay, so no. let's go back to the main room. Let's go back. Okay, thank you. Okay, time to come back. Listen, I was checking the pronunciation and that's right you are doing a great job pronouncing years but some of you are confusing questions class we are going to get different information if we confuse the questions where where you born is different from when. when were you born? So you need to listen carefully. Where? Where. 
when when referring to where? dates and where is referring to places so please Sí, es lo que estábamos hablando nosotros de, de la pregunta, cómo se formulaba, ¿verdad? Where exactly. y when. When and where, exactly. It's different type of information. It's not the same information. And how do we reply? As it is personal information, we have the subject. Then we have the past of verb to be. Then we have birth. I was born. And as we are expressing here, we are going to use this preposition in. No podemos decir on. We are going to use in. And then we mention the place, the city, the country, or whatever you want to express, right? I was born in El Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. So, let's write San Salvador. Right? This is the information that we get when we ask where were you born? In the second one, when we express when, of course, we are going to get a date, una fecha. So how do we make the sentence? I was born in, and then we mention the year. También podemos incluir todo, el mes, el año, el día, si se lo pueden, okay? That's okay, it doesn't matter. But we, most of the time, we only say the year. But if you want to include month and year, that's okay. There's no problem. I was born in 1990. Or you can also express this in a negative way. So how do we make the same answer in negative? I wasn't born in 1989. I was born in 1990. So, questions about this exercise. Questions about this exercise. Questions? Preguntas? Okay, so as the last activity, I need you to wait, just give me a second. I don't know who's watching TV, but I'm paying attention to that conversation. If you see after this video, you can now go and check the next exercise 5.5. And in this case, you're going to have like similar questions to the ones that we have been practicing. Look at number one, where were you born? What type of information are they asking you about place or about dates? Places Please. or dates? Ah, so what is the correct Please. option? Japan. Can we have I grew up in Tokyo or in no. Hiroshima, Japan? In Hiroshima, Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. Okay. Just let's do number two. Number two, where? Ah, they are asking you the same about the place. But take a look at the, the complement. Where did you grow up? Grow up. So what is the correct one? I grew in Tokyo. Very good, in Tokyo. So as you can see, be careful with the WH word because oh, according to that one, that type of information is the one that you are going to give. 
Tengamos cuidado con las WH words or WH questions para que no confundamos la respuesta. So, questions about what we have been practicing today, expressing years in English. Questions? No? no question. So, no. tomorrow no. at the first activity, mm -hmm. we are going question. to pronounce years. That is going to be the next activity for tomorrow. Les comparto la diapositiva que les presenté al inicio para que tengan la información. Okay? So, if you don't have any more comments or questions, we are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for joining and see you tomorrow. Okay? See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a great night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, bye. See you tomorrow. Good night to you. Recording stopped.